All right, morning. Welcome uh, to another episode of Paul's Bed Pole. This is the second intro. I did one yesterday morning. Didn't turn out well. Uh, I fished the Thames yesterday for small eyes. I did all right. The bite was pretty subtle. Uh, doing a different river today. The bite's just picking up. I'm picking, fishing for a couple hours here now. We had cold snap overnight. They just weren't hitting, but I've had a few now and things are getting better. Doing the same thing I've been doing. Super skinny water, uh, four inches to a foot mostly. Throwing the uh, Buka Bull Shad and Gizzard Shad color. It's floating bait, it's pretty well all I can get through here. Uh, for swim baiting in the skinny water, it's kind of a new thing, a new genre for me, and having a blast doing it. So uh, we'll see if we catch some more. So far, I think I've had three or four good ones. Can't remember now, but it's picking up. It's a nice day. It's good to be out. All is well in life. Let's get her done. That's the first one. First one I connected with. That was a very subtle eat. He is, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. No, it's really shallow. He's just banging rocks here on me. Trying to keep my rod tip up like I'm a trout fisherman. I hope it's not a monster because I don't have my board or scale. It's hard to tell. I'm new to these river smallmouths. So they all feel giant. He's not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely the biggest one of the week. Ooh, and he's gone. Well, you know what? I'm okay with that. He's happy. I'm happy. Let's boogie, boogie. I'm a little excited now. A little excited. Because having my doubts there, it's been pretty quiet since that first blow up. That was, he ate that so soft too. It's like you want to take it home with them for a drink or something. You did not want to kill it. Oh. Yep, yep, he's on. He swirled on it, backed off. I just paused it. I hope it's not a pike. Feels like a smolly. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. God, I love River Smallies, man. They fight. In the mouth. Oof, that's close to the gills. Very careful. There you go. This little guy is chunky. And he splashed me. You little bugger. Yeah, he's just swirling that real subtle, so it's definitely one of those days where they're not killing it. But a fish is a fish. Fish or friends, not food. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> yep, just need one more. Just one more. I knew he'd be in that corner. I knew somebody had to be. Golly. Did I snag a carp? Nope, it's a good smallie. Oh, and he's gone. <clears throat> I tell you, man. For you. Puts off that dead fish vibe, I guess. Yep. Yep. Oh, speaking of dead fish vibes. That was a large mouth for a second. Yeah, he's not very big, but man, do they ever fight. Oh, he's not bad at all. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, he's chunky. 
absolute football. Okay. Let me get to shore and get a quick video. Brute. Oof. The ones that bite. I mean, look how tall that guy is for how short he is. Like, they bite like heck here. Look how big that belly is. Absolute friggin' footballs, man. He's short. Ooh, and he's biting. I gotta let him go. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. Ooh, yeah. He's fired up. Absolutely loving this new genre, man. It's so much fun. Love it. So skinny. Let's get another one. Finesse presentation for this morning. I had a sleeper I gave to my cousin yesterday at my family event because well, I just want to go fishing. And I... First one, first one's on. Yep, finally. God, those head shakes. Now, I might lose this fish because I'm trying to learn how to play the fish and also keep the camera on them. This is, uh, it's all a learning experience, so you have to hang with me, guys. Oh, and the net's new too, and the net is folded up. Oh my god, ditch the net! Ditch the net. That's a monster, too. He is fat. Look at how red he is. Holy. Quick video and picture. Really hope this video turns out. I'm a mess today. I can't feel my fingers right now, but a little chunk just blew up on it. Look how fat they are. And I'll give you a clue as to what I said when I saw all those crayfish. Look at the lipstick on this guy. That's what they're eating. That's why they're so fat. It's just a massive crayfish bloom. Okay, quick video of the release. Let him go on his way. There you go, buddy. Ooh, yeah, let loose. Fired up. Holy. Look at this guy flipping down the river. Whoo! Step in my rod. Stumbles. Oh, that was right by the feet. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, he is angry. Man, yeah, they're getting fired up here. They are firing up. I can tell the water is getting a little warmer here, too. Oh, he just put, put that treble almost in the, the net. Yep. Oh. That has two and I haven't gone very far. We're getting into some juice here. Another chunk, bull shad. He's got bait fish teeth. He doesn't have the lipstick like the other one did, but he's probably eating crayfish too, just not as many. That guy was a glutton, I think. Someone just did a little swirl. Yep, on. He came back for it, just a little guy. Just a baby, holy. What were you thinking, buddy? Just a real baby. Okay. I'm gonna stab myself. 
Ow. It's all these little guys that get you. Pike or bass. Lady, as the girlfriend would say. Oh my god, that was a big one. That might be the best one of the day. He hit hard. No, he's not actually that big at all. Hit hard though. Good enough. Good enough, man. Okay. Man, I thought you were a giant. You caned it, buddy. I hold these guys real tight. I hate using treble hook baits and swim baits anyways, because they're so big and the hooks are so big. You get one of those in your fingers, it's gonna suck. I got some spots on them, but yeah, I thought you were way bigger. It's got a big attitude. All right, so I'm gonna uh, do a little outro here. Uh, I'm actually not done fishing yet. I just want to get done because I always forget and I run out of batteries by the end of the day and I've been told my videos end too short. Uh, I don't know what you guys want me to say, but I did well today. I think I'm gonna get a couple more here. The bite's just picking up. I uh, did well yesterday. It's gonna be a short day though. I got maybe another hour left because I got a lot of editing to do. But if you want to try this, I would say go straight to Southampton Outfitters, get one of these floating buka bull shads. It's, uh, it's a small East layer. I've only had it for a few days and I don't know how many fish I've had on it so far. It's, uh, it was a good idea. I'm not gonna pat myself on the shoulder, but I thought a good one that way. Till next time.